My name is Karin Göhl. I'm working at the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Plant Physiology in Gorm in Germany. Part of my research is to help breeders to find plants that can cope with low amounts of water. If potato plants don't get enough water, they make just tiny tubers and a few of them, and that's not the situation you want. A few plants are able to cope with low amount of water and they still make big tubers and a lot of them. And these are the plants we're looking for. Unfortunately, these plants are really, really rare. So finding them is a bit like searching for the needle in the haystack. I like to explain how we work. We start with a lot of plants, typically with about 10,000 plants. And one or two of them will be able to cope with drought. We call them drought tolerant. Classically, we would need to look at all these 10,000 plants for about three years to find those 200 plants which are best. And these 200 plants are then checked in more detailed experiments for about five years. And at the end of the process, we will have one cultivar. And this one cultivar will be used by the farmers we will basically end up on your plate. The bad thing about the process is that it really, really takes long, and we would like to speed up that process. And one of the ways to do this is to use so-called markers. Markers are features that can be really easily measured. And these markers, they can be either DNA, DNA, or they can be um, molecules within the plant, metabolites. This is what we use, metabolites. And the second feature of these markers is that they are much more frequently found in the tolerant ones than in the plants which can't cope with drought. So a way to get really rapidly from that stage to this stage is to take these plants and measure the markers. Then this process takes about three months. And then we have a number of plants which are non-tolerant, but also have a marker. And we have a number of plants which are, have the marker and are tolerant. And these go directly into the next step of the breeding. The entire process is called marker-assisted selection. And the abbreviation is MAS. You'll find that in literature now and then. The methods had already been used in rice to pr produce new varieties which are tolerant to environmental stresses. In potato, we are not that far yet because potato is on the whole a bit more difficult than rice in breeding. But we hope that together with the breeders, we'll make it soon. Okay. Okay.